Welcome back to the question paper discussion for the subject waste management. Today I'm going to discuss the part one video for the question paper discussion, uh, which uh, the question the question paper which is received in the year of uh, June July 2023, uh, the last year. So you can go through the particular question and uh, plan accordingly. You can you can write the answers accordingly. You plan your preparation in that particular manner. So you can see the subject code, name of the subject the year of the question question which is actually uh, the question paper which has happened in the year of 2023 june july so we can see some qu uh, questions so today i'll be this is a part one video remaining i'm going to discuss in the coming video session coming session so today we'll discuss four questions the first question 1a with a neat schematic diagram explain the functional element of solid waste management so weightage is 10 marks at least you need to maintain one and up two pages okay one and up to two pages. That is the initial request or initial instructions uh, or initial suggestion. You can take my suggestion uh, for writing the examination. Minimum one and up to two pages has to be returned for 10 marks. So you can plan the answer accordingly. In that uh, first question, the diagram also plays major role. Diagram. So, so we'll see the answer key. So list the functional element. The sketch the functional element, three marks. Explanation of each element, six marks. This is the way of like a distribution of marks waste generation then handling product separation storage then collection then transfer separation then finally comes to disposal so all together you can calculate it is 10 marks question question number 1b define the term solid waste explain the classification or and source of the solid waste so here what you are supposed to do is you have to write the definition so the waste which is in the state of solid is generally called as uh, solid waste and uh, we can classify according to type-based classification and the source-based classification. They have asked us for writing the source-based classification. Okay, the total weightage is 10 marks. You can write the answers in this particular points. Kindly request you to focus on these particular points. Apart from that, do not write, do not deviate from the topic. So many of, whenever we are seeing this answer book, we found that the people are writing blindly. So please don't write blindly. You focus on this particular point. If the points are not in the answer key, you will not be awarded the marks. Question number 2A, uh, write a note on environmental sound solid waste management and explain the factors affecting solid waste management. So here 2A, uh, ESSWM. So what is the meaning of ESSWM? Uh, so the objectives of ESSWM, you can write it properly. There are two type of technology. One is hard EST, other one is soft EST. So you, get, you have to list out what are the factors which are affecting the ESSWM. Prepare the checklist. So like uh, factors affecting the solid waste management, institutional, solid, financial, environmental, technical. Explain each factors individually. 5 plus 5 is 10 marks. So moving on to question number 2B. What is e-waste? Explain the Indian and global energy scenario of e-waste. Define the e-waste. Okay. So after usage of electronic equipments that is becoming obsolete once the technology is outdated the the material which is getting uh, like a e-waste so electronic waste example the sources of like uh, electronic waste computers dvd t television home appliances etc you can categorize the example also so you can explain the indian energy scenario for the waste management for marks so you have to talk about the global energy scenario also in Indian energy scenario, you can uh, mention how much amount of waste is recovered, what about the growth of production of e-waste, like that you can explain. So the total weightage is uh, 10 marks. Okay. Then question number uh, 3A, explain in detail chemical and physical characteristics of solid waste. So if I talk about the like uh, physical characteristics, you have to talk about the uh, mass, volume, density, Okay, those are comes under physical characteristics. Okay, if I go for like a chemical characteristics, you are supposed to explain about protein with vitamin, lipids, etc. That is actually called the chemical characteristics. Okay, so these two factors are most important. Uh, then explain the chemical characteristics of solid waste. Uh, then uh, proximity analysis. Then you can talk about like uh, the calculation of calorific value, energy content, moisture content, carbon volatile content. Then if I talk about the physical characteristics, you will be getting like a specific weight, a particle size, construction, field capacity, perme permit permeability. Those con uh, constraints factors uh, are comes under physical characteristics. So prepare the checklist. You can write your own uh, like uh, characteristics, but uh, don't deviate from the topic. So you are expected to have a better explanation about uh, regarding the 
points which is mentioned on the screen. Question number 3b, explain the detailed purpose of functions of waste stream assessment. What is waste stream assessment? Because we should know how much amount of waste is generated, how much amount of decomposed, how much amount of waste is recycled. That is why we require like a waste stream assessment. We have a sufficient amount of data to do the analysis. Okay, purpose you have to mention, uh, then function of WSA, uh, then uh, quantity, composition of sources, all the points you are supposed to elaborate, we'll be getting another 10 marks. Question number uh, 4a, explain the case study result from Indian cities of solid waste management or waste composition. Find out any one of your con uh, convenient city. For your reference, I have explained the okay, like a case study related to how uh, effective waste management is carried out by uh, Bangalore, Bangalore Municipality Corporation. Okay, you can go for any one of the examples which, which wherever you are residing. So you'll be getting so many information from the internet and uh, may, uh, different references material, reference material. Make it make it in a convenient fashion and you go ahead with that. So you, you are supposed to explain about any case study of Indian city, location, sources, quantity, quality, treatment method, disposal, storage method, all the any other methods you have to elaborate in brief. So one and after two pages, you can easily write it. There is no big deal. Uh, then question number four B, comparative and assess uh, the waste generation composition of solid waste in developed and developing nation. So you can talk about make a suitable comparative study. Any 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 uh, points on the waste generation and composition of solid waste in developed countries and any five points on the waste generation and composition for the developed countries. So like that, you can uh, prepare a table and you can classify for developed countries, one column. Uh, uh, developing countries, another column. You can elaborate uh, 10, 10 points, you can elaborate. That is more than sufficient. For example, uh, the, the wet content, uh, which uh, uh, the similarly carbohydrate waste, carbohydrate, like uh, bio waste. Okay. In uh, which country they are producing more, either developed or developing nation. Like that, you can uh, prepare the checklist. So these are uh, these are the four important questions uh, which is uh, mentioned in the previous year question paper that is happened in the year of June, July 2023. Let me know if you have any further uh, clarification. I'm happy to happy to answer. The remaining portions, remaining questions will be discussed in the coming session. Stay tuned. Happy learning. One more request: If you are watching our channel first time, I request you to subscribe our channel. Uh, if you get, if you, if you, the, if the videos are really pleased, or if the videos are useful, kindly share with uh, who, 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 whoever required for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching uh, our video once again. Uh, great learning.